the iPhone's Messages app got some new features and changes with iOS 17. You may have noticed some of them by just using the app, but there are some hidden features that may have eluded you. In this video, I'll focus primarily on the iPhone, but many of the features work the same for the iPad running iOS 17. Let's get started. A terrific new feature for group chats is the new catch-up arrow. If you've been away from your phone and your group chat is blowing up with messages, you can now automatically scroll to where you left off in the conversation. If the messages in the chat are more than can fit on the screen, an arrow appears that you can tap at the top right to bring you to the last message you've read. The new swipe to reply feature feels perfectly natural. You no longer have to push and hold on a message, then hit reply just to create a reply thread. In iOS 17, swipe to the right on any message to automatically trigger a reply. It's fast and convenient. This feature will only work with iMessage conversations. The iMessage app drawer is no longer located above your keyboard in the Message app. It is now hidden in the new plus button to the left of the Compose field. Tap on the plus sign and a list of your most used tools appear. Camera, photos, audio, and stickers. Tap on the More button at the bottom of the list to view the rest of your enabled message apps. In iOS 17, changes were made to how you can organize and manage the iMessage app drawer. And so to toggle on any iMessage app, we're going to come into the settings area. We're going to tap on messages. We're going to tap on iMessage apps. And here I can go ahead and I'll toggle on the app store. And I'm going to go ahead and swipe out of there. And now we're going to come into um, a message again. And I'll tap on the plus sign. And if I tap on more, you should see the Apple App Store appeared because I just added it to the section there. If I want to rearrange uh, any of these, I can't do it. Uh, inside of the settings area, but I can do it directly here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tap on the plus sign. And if I want to move an app around, all I need to do is push and hold on it and then drag it to the position that I want it to be and drop it there. And that's how you would maneuver the apps inside the iMessage drawer. If you're someone who prefers to send an audio message instead of a text message, well now you can pause during the recording and pick right back up where you left off as many times as needed. This allows you to send one audio file with everything you need to say instead of multiple ones that the recipient could play out of order. To do it, you just tap on the plus sign, I'll tap on audio and the recording will begin. I can say whatever I want. And if I need to pause the recording, I tap on the stop button. And now you'll see here I have three options. I can send it, I can play it, or this option that gives me the length of time of the recording. If I tap on that, Again, it begins recording. I can do this as many times as I want. And when I'm ready to send it, I can go ahead, tap on the stop button. I can listen to it. And when I'm ready, I can go ahead and tap on send. When you receive or send an audio message, the message will now show a transcription of what's in the recording. You can now see what they've said before listening to the recording. If it's a long transcription, you may need to expand the bubble to see everything that was said. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on this send. And it might take a few seconds for it to determine what the transcription is. And that was what I recorded when I was doing the audio. If I tap on show more, you'll see 
the rest of what was said. And so now when you send an audio, you automatically get a transcription with it. Before iOS 17, sharing your location with someone had to be initiated from the Maps app, Find My, or Siri. Now you can do it directly in the iMessage menu. The first time you will need to give messages location usage permission and choose between precise and not precise coordinates. So if I tap on the plus button here, and I go ahead and I tap on location. Here, I can go ahead and share that location with someone else by just tapping on share. And when I do that, it's going to give me an option. I can do it indefinitely. I can do it till the end of day, or I can choose to do it for one hour. So I'm going to go ahead and say for one hour, and I'm going to go ahead and tap on send. And now the person that receives that message will have access to my location for one hour. Syncing messages with iCloud is slightly different in iOS 17. We're going to go ahead and open the settings app. We're going to tap on our name at the top. We're going to go ahead and choose iCloud. I'm going to go ahead and tap on Show All, and then I'm going to choose Messages in iCloud. Previously, it was just called Messages. I'm going to go ahead and tap on Messages in iCloud, and here you're going to see some different options. You can Messages in iCloud use on this iPhone. You can toggle that switch on if you use iCloud, and that keeps a sync of all of your messages. You can manage your storage by tapping on that, and you can you know see whether you want to disable or delete. I'm going to tap on the back option. Here you can see how long do I want to keep messages. Right now, I have uh, forever you can change that to 30 days or one year if you want, whatever you choose. It'll tell you uh, when it was last synced and how many messages you have stored in iCloud. Whenever you receive a one-time SMS verification code from an app or a website, Autofill will help you enter the code into the text field just as it's always done, but now you have the option to clean up these codes automatically after using them so as not to clutter up your messages. This also works in mail. You may have ignored this message the first time it appeared. So let's go back and set this up. So I opened the settings app and I'm going to tap on passwords. I'm going to it, it uses Face ID to open the password option for me. And now I'm going to tap on password options. And you can locate where it says verification code, delete after use. Toggle that switch on. And those messages will automatically be deleted when you're finished with them. And that way they won't clutter up your messages app. Since you followed along this far, I have a bonus tip. There's now an option for a three finger tap in messages, which brings up a hidden menu. I had no idea you could even do this until my nephew shared this tip with me. So I'm inside the messages app. I've created um, a message. And if I take three fingers and tap inside the compose field, you're going to see a little box appears at the top and there's some things that you can do with it. You can copy, you can paste, you can cut, you can undo, you can redo. If I select in the message area, if I tap and I select in the message area, select a, a, a a text, a piece of text, and then three finger tap. You'll see when I do that up above, I have the option to cut that, copy that, undo that. So that's a uh, little bonus tip for you 
that I didn't even know was available in the Messages app. Hopefully, you find these new iOS 17 Messages features helpful. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.